Most importantly, how do I get this into my life, Prophet? I love the way you preach, I love the way you break it down, but what do I need to get this into my life on a daily basis? Number one, you need to watch this program until it gets into your spirit. You listen to music over and over again until you remember the words. Get God's word into your life. Just practice that. Practice being a consistent person. When you're doing something, you, 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 chop, you don't stop chopping until you get it. Don't stop chopping at this, this understanding until you get it. Until you get it. Don't, leave, don't let it go. There's a part that God plays and there's a part that you've got to play. Play your part. God bless you. Yes, here we go. Look, first sign, sign number one. Things go quiet. God is quiet. Everything, every time you pray to him, you know, like, I'm, I'm used to hearing God's voice and, and I hear him. And when I'm about to be blessed, I know that, I know that he gets quiet. He wants to see my reactions. He wants to see the way I'm going to respond to this challenge. He wants to see what level of understanding I am in. So I need to understand that when I'm about to be blessed, one of the five signs is things will go quieter for you. Things might seem quiet in your prayer life. Things might, people, people might stop calling you. We're going to come on to that. We're going on to the next point, which is number two. Your feelings. You start having mad feelings. You start feeling like God's forgotten you. You start feeling like we were talking about Hagar. And you need to see that that is a banging series. Um, the uh, character of Hagar. I believe God has given me a commission to go into to, to, to the world and break down these characters, not just for yourself, but for your children as well. So I hope you're getting something out of this. If so, obviously hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the like button if this is really helping you out with your walk with God. Let's get back to it. Number three, you start having dreams and visions. Your feelings start telling you that, look, God is forgetting. This is, this is when the attacks come the most. The devil starts to attack you on a mental level. The devil starts to tell you that God's forgotten you. Like he spoke to, he, he spoke to Agar, who was like, you know, you need to get out of here. Look, God, 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 God ain't going to help you. So your feelings will start to play tricks on you. Your feelings will start to, t start to tell you that God's forgotten you. And we, remember what we said, knowing and feeling. Feeling like God's not with you, but knowing that God doesn't forsake a child. Yeah. Feeling like you're alone, but knowing that God doesn't ever turn his back. Yeah. He never sleeps. This is our Father. Glory be to God. Okay, yeah. so the third sign, the, sorry, the fourth sign, sign number four. Your friends leave you. <laughs> This is the sign where your friends turn their back on you, your close friends, the people that you thought you would tie. You thought anything would happen, and that's the first number that you call. You call their number, and guess what? It's engaged. Yeah. That is a sign. That is a sign that God's about to bless you because he's not going to let no one else take the credit. He's going to do it in a way where you can only know that it could only be him. And the last sign, and the most important sign, is... You feel a need to pray. You feel a need to get close to God. You feel a need a, a, a need to hunger for him. You, you know that something's going wrong. Yeah. You're doing everything according to you right, but you don't realise it. it's just a waiting game. Yeah. I'm going to talk about that. Five, time, five, five, five signs. That's going to be my next programme. Five signs that you're in the middle of the journey. Don't give up. If he started it, he'll complete it. Don't give up. If he promised you he'll make it come to pass, don't give up, Abraham. Don't give up, Sarah. Don't give up, Hagar. Yeah. Even, if you're not, even if you don't feel included, God will include you in the blessings as you listen to this. Yeah. God bless you. My name is Michael Favor. I hope you've enjoyed today. I know that I have. I've got some powerful things to make me realize that it's not just quiet for no reason. My yeah. friends haven't just turned their back on me for no reason. I'm about to be blessed. I hope yeah. you're blessed too. Stay favored to the Father's house, as you know, I'm Michael Favor. I'm here to walk with you, help your walk with God, help you to understand, especially help your kids and you yourself to get deeper into the Word. And we're going to do that, just that. We're going to be looking at five signs that you're about to be blessed. Five signs that you're about to be blessed. I hope you can see this is going to be banging. Stop.